Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element is going to be zinc. Now, zinc can commonly be found in these carbon zinc batteries. So you can see it says carbon zinc on it. Make sure it says carbon zinc. If it says anything like alkaline or super heavy duty or whatever, you don't want those because they will not contain um, zinc metal inside of them. Now, you're going to want to use a brand new battery so that the zinc won't be corroded. So this is a brand new battery here. Now, you can also find... Um, zinc inside of old lantern batteries which are also carbon zinc batteries and some 9 volt batteries which can also be carbon zinc batteries basically anything that says carbon zinc on it will contain zinc metal just make sure it's new so that the zinc isn't corroded so to extract the zinc we're simply going to pry off the casing so I'll be back in a moment once I pried off the casing okay so you can see that we've opened up this battery so here is the zinc casing which we are mainly after the other components are this carbon rod and some manganese dioxide which is inside this battery. Now, we're going to save the manganese dioxide because in a separate video I'm going to show you how to make manganese metal from manganese dioxide. So anyhow, here is our um, nice, uh, beautiful zinc uh, coating here. So what we're going to do is open this up and pull out a carbon electrode and scrape out all of the manganese dioxide. And then you'll just be left with the zinc casing. So I'll show you what that looks like once I do it. Give me a moment. Okay, so I actually uncoiled that whole outside of zinc because it turns out that in between the manganese dioxide and the zinc, there was actually a thin paper layer. So to avoid the hassle of trying to remove all that manganese dioxide, I just simply took the uh, um, zinc metal and pried it off with some pliers. So this zinc metal here has a very low melting point. Zinc melts at only 400 something degrees Celsius, so we'll be able to easily melt it down with a blowtorch. So what I'm now going to do is chop it up into some smaller pieces, stick it in a crucible, and melt it down. So meet me outside and I'll be set up, and then we can melt this down into a tiny zinc ingot for our element collection. Just give me a moment. Okay, so this, um, I got my little crucible here, and our zinc metal's inside. Now that's a bunch of slag on top, but by now the zinc metal should be molten. So. Let me just set my camera down right here. Uh, I guess I'll hold it. And let's try to actually pour this out. So we'll just take this crucible and let's see. Oh, there's our zinc. Let's see if we can get this to pour right out. Oh, sorry. Oh. So there is our zinc metal. I'm going to let this cool and perhaps remelt it to get it into a nicer bead and I'll be back. Okay, so after I melted it a second time and formed it into this beautiful shape, you can see we have a beautiful sample of um, zinc here. I'm very happy with this beautiful sample. Um, here, if I just take it out for a moment, here, just give me a moment, you can actually see how beautiful this really is. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Here see the beautiful shiny little bead of zinc here. So anyhow, that is how to extract zinc metal from a carbon battery, carbon zinc battery, which you can get from almost anywhere. Dead ones work excellent also. Anyhow, so hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye.